recording. So let's go through from the very beginning, right? You're all good at this, right? That's all fine. We don't need to do any of that. When you're down, down, when you're down and you're troubled, you're all good at that. And you need a helping hand. You're all good at that. Nothing, oh, nothing is going right. I think that's all fine. The only thing I would say is try and get a rhythm. It's kind of with it down and you're troubled and you need a helping hand. And nothing. Just try and make it flow a little bit more without stopping between chords and not caring if it's perfectly working out. Just try and get the da 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 flow. But all that's good. You're fine with that. So let's not reinvent the wheel, right? So you're good with it. Close your eyes and think of me. Soon I will be there. Right. Now this is where things were getting a little interesting. To brighten. Sorry. Excuse me. Here, yeah, to brighten. So that's an A minor set. That's an A minor. You can just see it. To brighten even your darkest night. I'll play it through. Now that's a real pretty way of doing it. You could also do it this way. So I'll just do it with myself to go brighten. B minor, even your darkest night. D sus four. D. You just call. So I just followed the chords there. That sounded pretty cool. Or you can go, well, I'll do a combination. A minor normal. Right. Even your darkest night. So they were all chords. The last bit. Those little zeros you can get rid of. Add them in if you have to. You just call G. Now this is what I want to show you. There's a G. Call out your name. This, the way the G is kind of done in this chorus, if you do it with a G rather than that G, rather than, so in the B string, call out your, then this dude can jump off here. Name, it's a really, G, then to G major seven, name C. Major seven, which is just a C without its top. Oh, na, 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 na. So that was an A minor seven, and it was just the same thing A minor seven, then my little finger on off. So call, you just call that one. This what's right. Call out your name. So, na, 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 just call G, G major 7 to see you again. Right, now with the G's and the G major 7's, you can do it with these three fingers or you can do it, do it with uh, sorry, so you could do what I'm trying to say is on the A a G chord has this dude on the A string, which you can just bugger off, right? You can just do it like it doesn't matter, you don't actually hit that note. <laughs> oh, COVID. Um, uh, so, da, 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 I just call to see you again. Um, now, there's a bit, I'm, I'm just going to play it through. I'm now going to just share the screen. So what I just did was this. That's a G. G major seven again.
So up to that point, it's this was very repetitive, right? This bit where I wrote easy A minor, you could just do A minor seven instead at that point. So you could go. So it would look like this with the easy version C. All you gotta do is call and I'll. Right? Sometimes I say A minor and I mean A minor seven. I, I, I'm using them interchangeably in some ways in this. They would be very similar to sound. But when I say A minor, you might as well do A minor seven. But if you wanted to get cool, um, oh yeah, okay, so let's, let's, let, I'm just gonna play the, the tricky bit. It's not as tricky as you look. It is tricky, I won't lie. All you gotta do is call. Something like that. So. It is hard, let's, let's be honest. I think it might be a bit hard. I could show you an easier version, but maybe look at it and if you feel like it. You got a friend. Back to the beginning, yeah. Maybe bugger off that bit. Um, 